I started with just my blue acrylic paint and just put a little blob on there ready to smooth out for the sky. The other two colours I'll be using for the sky are orange and red so I just blob them on as well. I think it's a bit dark so I just am um, gonna add a bit more white to that and it just sort of blends in because the paint's still wet. Gives it a bit more of a realistic sky colour. the same with the orange and blend it up into the blue so that it merges in so it doesn't just look like two block colours. And the same with the red as well. It's got a bit murky where it blended into the blue and I wanted it to be a bit more bright for the sunset. really nicely with the sky if you just keep building up layers and layers and eventually it all comes together and looks like a really realistic sky. exact same thing at the bottom so that it reflects like a like the water that it's going to be reflecting in just take the page off there because I don't want to get paint on the rest of my pages in my book to the sky as well just to brighten it up um, especially around the middle section because that's where our sun is going to be where it will be setting and it kind of leaves little streaks in the sunset if you've ever seen that in the sky before it's kind of like streaks exactly the same thing there with the orange
make it even brighter right in the middle where the sun's going to be. So I add a bit of white mixed with red. I just changed my water then because it was getting a bit black. And just carry on making that middle section really bright. I'm going to put in the sun setting. difficult to get a perfectly round circle. I took quite a long time trying to get the shape of the circle. Also I got a few um, splatters of water on my page so I just covered those up. Again I went over with another small layer of blue and yellow. I already think that looks really pretty. You can leave it at that if you want, it's really nice and it's so satisfying doing the blending technique with the paintbrush, I find it really therapeutic. But I'm going to carry on, I'm going to put in my um, horizon line about two thirds of the way down or just, just over halfway down. you need to switch to a really thin paintbrush for this one so that you can get an accurate line that's not too smudgy or big I then washed off my brush completely because the next line is going to be in white and that's exactly the same size line just beneath the black horizon line. It's really tricky to get the completely straight lines, so maybe if you have some tape you could use that as well just paint against that so you get a fully straight line that one's a little bit wonky but I kind of like it it's only an abstract painting I suppose then one more line which is going to be black Just so you've got that streak of light that reflects on the horizon line.
do have a square shaped brush I find this really useful for this technique where I'm going to put in some trees and if you just get a little bit of black on the end of your brush and then dab it in little lines you get the effect of a lot of leaves on the trees without actually having to put in every single leaf because that takes absolutely ages um, you'll see what I mean in just a second So there you go, I'm just dabbing it on using the flat part of that brush and it creates the effect of loads of little leaves seen from a distance. It's really great for doing silhouettes. And then just put in as many trees as you like really. I put in about four or five on each side in the end. much smaller trees in the middle so that you could still see the moon really well and also because they're further away they're going to look a lot smaller than the ones near the side. For the middle ones I just mixed it with a little bit of red as well so that they look even further into the distance. Then we're going to do the same thing but it's as a reflection so the lines are a lot, a lot more rough and again it's using that flat brush because you can get these strokes that look just like how water reflects. So you're creating the general shape of the trees but just more spaced out and abstract.
gonna put in a little more white for the moon. Just to make it even more bright. And I just mix that in with a little bit of yellow as well because of course the sun has got a kind of yellowish tinge to it. just make the sky a bit brighter with these little trails that you get in the sky at night. Put in mainly white with a little dabble of red and yellow. And the same thing just around the sun makes it look a lot brighter. And of course, all those reflections that you put in the sky, you've got to reflect into the water, otherwise it won't look realistic. Certainly the sun on the water looks really pretty. blended out that bit of the sky a bit more because I thought it was a little bit too bright. Just blended it out with a little bit of water. Similarly in the water it got a little bit too bright so I'm just adding a bit more black because the trees are the main thing that are going to reflect because they're closest. Just for a bit of perspective, although this is pretty much done now, I just decided to add some reeds, um, little sort of little grass bits at the front. Again, you can do that with your thinnest brush that you got.
I decided to add a tree at the side. Just kind of added some random branches. <laughs> 